इकनॉमिक्स एक्सप्लेनेशंस इकनॉमिकल एक्सप्लेनेशंस द इंटरकनेक्टेडनेस ऑफ सोशोलॉजिकल थ्यूरीज द साइकोलॉजिकल एंड सोशल एंड बायोलॉजिकल थ्यूरीज ऑफ क्रिमिनल बिहेवियर डू नॉट एक्सप्लेन व्हाई क्राइम रेट्स वेरी फ्रॉम वन नेबरहुड टू द नेक्स्ट from group to group within large urban areas or within groups of individuals sociological theories seek the reasons for differences in crime rates in the social environment these theories can be grouped into three general categories number 1 strain number 2 कल्चरल डेवियंसिस एंड नंबर थ्री सोशल कंट्रोल द स्ट्रेन एंड कल्चरल डेवियंसिस थ्यूरीज फॉर्मुलेट बिटवीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू नाइनटीन फोर्टी एंड स्टिल पॉपुलर टूडे फोकस ऑन द सोशल फोर्सेज दैट कॉज पीपल टू इंगेज इन क्रिमिनल एक्टिविटी दीज थ्यूरीज लेड द फाउंडेशन फॉर द सब कल्चरल थ्यूरीज social control theories take a different approach they are based on the assumption that the motivation to commit crime is part of human nature consequently social control theories seek to discover why people do not commit crime they examine the ability of social groups and institutions to make their rules effective strain and cultural deviance theories both assume that social class and criminal behavior are related but they differ as to the nature of the relationship strain theory argues that all members of society subscribe to one set of cultural values that of the middle class one of the most important middle class values is economic success since lower class persons do not have legitimate means to reach this goal they turn to illegitimate means in desperation cultural deviance theories claim that lower class people have a different set of values that tend to conflict with the values of the middle class consequently when lower class persons confirm to their own value system they may be violating conventional or middle class norms what is the anomy theory of imail durkheim one way to studying a society is to look at its component parts in an effort to find out how they relate to each other in other words we look at the structure of a society to see how it functions if the society is stable its parts operating smoothly the social arrangements are functional such a society is marked by cohesion cooperation and consensus but if the component parts are arranged in such a way as to threaten the social order the arrangements are said to be dysfunctional in a class oriented society for example the classes tend to be in conflict the structural functionalist perspectives the structural functionalist perspectives was developed by imail durkheim 1858 to 1917 before the end of the 19th century 
at the time positivist biological theories which relied on the search for individual differences between criminals and non-criminals were dominant so at a time when science was searching for the abnormality of the criminal durkheim was writing about the normality of crime in society to him the explanation of human conduct and indeed human misconduct lies not in the individual but in the group and the social organization it is in this context that he introduced the term anomy the breakdown of social order as a result of the loss of standards and values throughout his career durkheim was preoccupied with the effects of social change he believed that when a simple society develops into a modern urbanized one the intimacy needed to sustain a common set of norms declines groups become fragmented and in the absence of a common set of rules the actions and expectations of people in one sector may clash with those of people in another as behavior becomes unpredictable the system gradually breaks down and the society is in a state of anomie what is anomie and suicide Durkheim illustrated his concept of anomie in a discussion not of crime but of suicide. He suggested several reasons why suicide was more common in some groups than in others. For our purposes, we are interested in the particular form of suicide he called anomic suicide. When he analyzed statistical data he found that suicide rates increased during times of sudden economic change whether that change was major depression or unexpected prosperity in periods of rapid change people are abruptly thrown into unfamiliar situations rules that once guided behavior no longer hold what causes the problems is not the amount of money available but the sudden change durkheim believed that human desires are boundless and in and instable and bottomless abyss but with a sudden burst of prosperity expectations change when the old rules no longer determine how rewards are distributed among members of society there is no longer any restraint on what people want once again the system breaks down thus whether sudden change causes great prosperity or great depression the result is the same and nomi what is strain theory a few generations after durkheim the american sociologist robert merton 1910 also related the crime problem to anomie but his concept differs somewhat from durkheim's the real problem merton argued is created not by sudden social change but by a social structure that holds out the same goals to all its members without giving them equal means to achieve them this lack of integration between what the culture calls for and what the structure permits the former encouraging success and the latter preventing it can cause norms to break down because they no longer are effective guides to behavior 
वॉट इज द डेस्पैरिटी बिटवीन गोल्स एंड मीन्स हिज एनॉमी थ्यूरी इम्फोसाइज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टू एलिमेंट्स इन एनी सोसाइटी नंबर वन कल्चरल एस्पिरेशन और गोल्स दैट पीपल बिलीव आर वर्थ स्ट्राइविंग फॉर एंड नंबर टू इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइज्ड मींस और एक्सेप्टेड वेज टू अटेन द डिजायर्ड एंड्स इफ सोसाइटी इज टू बी स्टेबल दीज टू एलिमेंट्स मस्ट बी रीजनेबली वेल इंटीग्रेटेड इन अदर वर्ड्स देयर शुड बी मींस फॉर इंडिविजुअल्स टू रीच द गोल्स दैट आर इंपॉर्टेंट टू दैम डेस्पेरिटी between goals and means fosters frustration which leads to strain from this perspective the social structure is the root of the crime problem hence the approach martin takes is sometimes called a structural explanation strain theory the name given by contemporary criminologist to martin's explanation of criminal behavior assumes that people are law abiding but when under great pressure will resort to crime desperity between goals and means provides that pressure it is not however solely wealth or income which determines people's position on a social ladder that ranges from the homeless to the very very rich who live on great estates other attributes of social class are education prestige power and even language what are the modes of adoption to be sure not everyone who is denied access to a society's goal becomes deviant martin outlined five ways in which people adopt to society's goals and means individuals responses modes of adoption depend on their attitudes toward the cultural goals and the institutional means of attaining those goals the options are conformity innovation ritualism retreatism and rebellion conformity conformity is the most common mode of adjustment individuals accept both the culturally defined goals and the prescribed means for achieving those goals they work save go to school and follow legitimate paths innovation individuals who choose the adoption of innovation accept society's goals but since they have few legitimate means of achieving them they design their own means for getting ahead the means may be burglary robbery embezzlement or a host of other crimes ritualism people who adopt by ritualism abandon the goals they once believed to be within reach and resign themselves to their present lifestyles they play by the rules they work on assembly lines hold middle management jobs or follow some other safe routine retreatism retreatism is the adoption of people who give up both the goals can't make it and the means why try and retreat into the world of drug addiction or alcoholism rebellion rebellion occurs when both cultural goals and legitimate means are rejected many individuals 
substitute their own goals get rid of the establishment and their own means protest they have an alternate scheme for a new social structure however ill defined test of strain theory martin and his followers predict that the greatest proportion of crime will be found in the lower classes because lower class people have the least opportunity to teach their goals legitimately many research studies designed to test the various propositions of strain theory focus on the association between social class and delinquency an association that evokes considerable controversy social class and crime according to number of researchers we may be able to learn more about the relationship between social class and crime if we look closely at specific types of offenses rather than at aggregate aggregate crime or delinquency rates that take homicide for example in two large cross national studies two teams of canadian researchers explored the relationship between income inequality and national homicide rates both teams reported results that supported strain theory when opportunities or means for success are not provided equally to all members of society as indicated by crime rates pressure is exerted on some members of that society to engage in deviant behavior in this case homicide further analysis by one of the teams showed that the effects of inequality on homicide may be even more pronounced in more democratic societies the researchers commented income inequality might be more likely to generate violent behavior in more democratic societies because of the coexistence of high material inequality and an egalitarian value system race and crime yet another question that relates to strain theory concerns the relationship between racial inequality and violent crime jorth and peter blaw studied data from 125 metropolitan areas in the united states their primary finding was that racial inequality as measured by the difference in socio economic status between whites and non whites is associated with the total rate of violent crime the conclusion fits well with martin's theory blaws argued that in a democratic society which stresses equal opportunities for individual achievement but in reality distributes resources on the basis of race there is bound to be conflict the most disadvantaged are precisely those who cannot change their situation through political action in such circumstances the frustrations created by racial inequalities tend to be expressed in various forms of aggression such as violent crime several researchers have supported these findings but not all researchers are in agreement evaluation strain theory evaluation strain theory by number 1 by concentrating on crime at lower levels of socio economic hierarchy for example it neglects crime committed by middle and upper class people radical criminologist in fact claim that strain theory stands accused of predicting too little bourgeois criminality 
एंड टू मच प्रोलिटेरियन क्रिमिनलिटी नंबर टू इफ वी हैव एन एग्रीड अपॉन सेट ऑफ गोल्स इज मटीरियल गेन द डोमिनेंट वन इफ क्राइम इज ए मीन्स टू एन एंड वाई इज देयर सो मच यूजलेस डिस्ट्रक्टिव बिहेवियर स्पेशली अमंग टीन एजर्स डिस्पाइट द मैनी क्रिटिकल असेसमेंट्स स्ट्रेन थ्यूरी रिप्रेजेंटेड primarily by martin's formulation of anomy has had a major impact on contemporary criminology thank you for listening